Ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. As paperwork piled up. This is all the correspondence that went back and forward over the years. Jan's patience to get the pension she's owed has worn thin. When you're 80 years old, to go through all this, trying to fight for other people as well as myself, it's wearing, it's tiring. Of almost £20,000 she believes she's entitled to, she's had just a 1000 Caring for her husband Roy, who has Alzheimer's, she wonders what difference the money would have made. If that money had come through when it did, when, it, when I first applied for it even, we could have gone on a cruise or something, you know, we could have enjoyed a couple of years, but no. Jan's one of 134,000 pensioners who've missed out on their full entitlement because of mistakes made, mainly women relying on their husbands' contributions for some of their pension. The state pension system is so complicated, people simply don't know if they're on the right amount or not. And at the government's end of things, the computer systems are old and clunky, relying heavily on clerical processes, and too often the calculations weren't made and people got the wrong amount, possibly for decades. These problems go all the way back to 1985. Small errors that weren't recognised at the time but have added up to quite substantial sums. And it's a shambles, according to a committee of MPs. Well, the programme the department's going through now is the ninth time of trying to rectify this. Even now they're finding that when they've sometimes put the mistake right, they haven't done that as properly as they should have done. So there are lots and lots of questions still to ask. Um, but crucially, these women need their money, or if they've sadly died, they, their families deserve that money. A spokesperson for the DWP says resolving the historical state pension underpayments that have been made by successive governments is a priority for the department and we are committed to doing so as quickly as possible. We have set up a dedicated team and devoted significant resources to processing outstanding cases. Those affected will be contacted by us to ensure they receive all that they are owed. Too late for those no longer here. I'm 82 this year, half of the people that are owed the money will be dead. So many shortchanged for so long, with some still in the dark about what they've missed out on. Alan Jenkins, 5 News, Fife.